but with this glitch, they'll soar through the sky. To do this, grab a bunch of squids in a tight area, and immediately, they'll face through the walls and blow. Glow squids can do this too, and it looks very cool at night. Number two, if more than 24 mobs are squeezed into a single block, they start to take damage. This is because of entity cramming, but you can actually increase the 24 mob limit with a game rule. You can cram thousands of mobs in a single block, but if you let them out, something strange happens. All the squished entities push against each other and create an animal cannon. Wait, how did they go both ways? Number three, you can break end portals in survival mode. Blowing up or mining the frame will work, but for some reason, a mushroom will. Bone mealing it a few blocks away will grow the mushroom right through the portal frames. Good luck beating Minecraft on this world. Number four, what causes the biggest explosion? End crystals, withers, maybe even TNT minecarts. Well, it's actually none of them. The largest explosions come from fireballs, because unlike other explosions, you can set the explosion power using commands. They're so powerful that they can even blow up water. But if you set the power too high, your game will crash, so be careful. Number five, if you create a super flat world that's just TNT, you'll have one of the greatest explosions ever. You'll have an infinite chain reaction of TNT that'll only get laggier and laggier. But if you create this world in survival mode, make sure a creeper doesn't explode. Uh-oh. <laughs> Number 6. One of the coolest things in Minecraft is the lag machine. They utilize some of Minecraft's least known features to crash servers. There are all different kinds from bouncing armor stands to floating snowballs. My favorite is the minecart machine. It's super simple to make and is extremely destructive. Number 7. How do you get netherite stairs? In Minecraft's infinite snapshot, there is an item called the swaggiest stair ever. You aren't able to craft it, but you can find it in one of the infinite dimensions. Number 8. Don't break any blocks on this world. If you touch even one, the entire the world will fall apart. This is because the world is entirely sand with no blocks underneath. So if you break just one, it'll update the rest, creating a satisfying five seconds and a broken world. Number nine, Minecraft resource packs can change your game to look like anything you want. Whether it's having short swords, super detailed blocks, or this cool texture, but they can also make your game look way worse. This texture pack unloads every single texture and replaces it with an error. What does rain look like? Oh my. Number 10, the most satisfying way to break Minecraft is with illegal and enchantments. By using commands, you can put fortune 1000 on a pickaxe and mining diamonds will drop a ton. You can also put looting 1000 on your swords to get pork chops for years. <sighs> you'll be left with this cursed thing. If you want it in